this video on home improvement how to's we're going to show you how to lay laminate flooring and it's an easy process simple to do you don't have to have any complicated tools so stay tuned i'm going to show you the tools you need to do this and then we're going to show you the steps of how to, how to lay this floor so here we go so a few of the simple tools that you're going to need i've got two different types of tapping blocks i got a tapping block right here just got it from my local hardware store and this tapping block it has a lip on it where you can put it up against the laminate and tap on it. Here's another tapping block right here. This you just set it up against your laminate flooring and tap it along the sides. We've got a pole pry bar and this is used when your laminate flooring gets to an end and you need to tap it and pull it tight. So this pry bar we're using those three things. I got my rubber mallet right here. We like using a rubber mallet instead of a regular hammer which is extremely noisy and it's not uh, good for tapping on here with it's better use a rubber mallet. We're using scissors or an exacto knife or blade to cut our underlayment and then I've got a tape measure to do any type of measuring. We're using a speed square to make our lines straight. We've got a saw, a table saw, and a chop saw or miter saw to do our cutting. So you can use either a table saw or miter saw, or you can use a laminate flooring cutter, which is a blade that has a pull bar that comes down and it snaps, snaps it, and it makes cutting it really fast and easy. Those things are can be all the way up to almost a thousand dollars for one of those. Most of the time, most people just use a miter saw to cut your ends, but a lot of times you're going to have to rip pieces, so you're going to have to have a table saw or something that's going to rip that. You can use a skill saw, but straight cuts you'll get with a table saw. So some of the simple tools that you're going to need. Now let's go ahead and apply this stuff. So we're just starting our flooring, and prior to beginning to lay the flooring, the first thing we did, we went around, cleaned our floor really well. I used a floor scraper to make sure there was you know, nothing on the floor. This is a wood floor. We pulled up the carpet, and there was some blobs of drywall mud and stuff like that on the floor, and a few staples and stuff. So I just used this simple floor scraper to scrape off the floor to make sure that stuff was cleared off. And then we shot back it really well. Got this all scraped and cleaned today. And then we began laying our underlayment. And underlayment is a really simple process. We're using this underlayment right here, and it's a really thin foam. And this is a good soundproof barrier right here. This is the most expensive underlayment we can find. But it just rolls out, it cuts with a knife, or cuts with scissors and it just has some backing that over flips over right here we'll show you this backing and then the next layer of underlayment will stick and tap to that and we'll show you what that looks like here we're going to lay down a row of underlayment and then we'll begin working laying installing some floor and then we'll roll out our next roll of underlayment and just begin working down the room right here So I got the underlayment right here. I've got the, the backing on it here flipped out. It's the white backing. This side of it has just a peel off tape right here. And this is going to tap to this first row of underlayment right there. So I'm going to roll it from this side, roll it here, cut it, and then tack it down. Next row out, I'm just going to use a piece of my laminate flooring laid on there so it holds it down flat and then we'll roll it out it just butts up against each other right here roll it out cut it and then we'll start packing it down Brett, grab this So now we're just working our way up our floor. We got two rows of our underlayment laid. 
and we're just laying out our laminate flooring. And the stuff is very simple and easy to lay out. It clicks together really easily. And one thing you want to think about is make sure you have a stack staggered in this thing. We've got it staggered kind of randomly so that pieces are cut randomly so you can't see a pattern in the flooring. And now we're just going to be clicking them together up this wall and then we'll be cutting them to fit right here. your way up to the wall there's these handy little spacers you can buy when you purchase the laminate flooring and it'll keep the flooring a quarter inch away from your wall you definitely want the stuff not touching the wall butted up against the wall for expansion and contraction this this floor has to float here if you butt it up against the wall you're going to run into some problems down the road with the floor so just take these handy spacers you can just set them along here and butt them up against the spacers and then your floor will be installed just the way you um, just the right distance away from the wall if you're good at just eyeballing that quarter inch you can just eyeball instead of not purchasing the spacers uh, you are correct One of the nice things about this new flooring now, it used to be really hard to click together and you'd have to tap it with um, a block or hammer all the time to, to connect the individual pieces. Now they snap together or lay together really easily and you typically don't have to use a mallet or a tapping block until you get to some door jams and some situations where it's too tight to snap them together, but it installs really easily on this square part of the room. You can see we're just laying them out really fast, they're laying together, and this part of the floor is complete now. It's all clicked together. Eventually, when we, go, we get the floor all done, we'll install our baseboards too. our way down our hallway we came up the living room working our way down the hallway and because the house and the walls aren't square we've got the situation where it tapers off this row right here is square right here but we got to just fit in and fill in these pieces right along here so we're going to just measure these the gaps on here get our pieces and tuck them down this side half of it you won't see down here because of our baseboards that are going to go over the top of it but it's only about two pieces that we got to cut and fill in right here so we want our flooring right here to tuck underneath our piece of door trim right here right now as it, as it sits this the piece that we're going to put here is going to run into this so we're just going to take a flush trim saw right here and we'll set it right on this flooring trim that back now our flooring will tuck under there and look nice and neat and clean we're just going to be throwing some blue tape down there because our saw blade is going to be riding on the top of our flooring right there. We don't want to scratch our flooring. But this, these little flush trim saws right here are really handy and they cut really fast.
So we're working up to our tile right here. And to work up to the tile, we've got some tea mold and this was just some stock tea mold and it's a transition from you know, two level surfaces. So we got tile here, we got our uh, laminate flooring here and they're pretty much level. So here's our tea mold. It just looks like a piece of tea molding. You want to give yourself about an inch for this piece of metal that's gonna attach to the floor right here and that's what attaches your T mold and holds it down in place. So we're giving ourselves one inch in between, one inch gap right here. And we've got a concrete surface right here. So we need to try to drive concrete nails in or we, we're gonna just glue this stuff down with liquid nails in between here. And then we'll attach our T mold and it gives us a nice little transition from tile to flooring. So we're just working, got to the end of the hallway or working ourselves up to this tile transition and that's another flat transition but just using t-mold right there giving ourselves a one inch gap so we can attach the piece of uh, metal attachment for the t-mold these rooms they got carpet in them right now you can you can either use a transition carpet to transition our carpet to laminate uh, molding or we're going to be working right in these rooms pulling the carpet out so we are cutting our pieces and making them so we can attach them and continue working in the room. So once you get to the end right here, it's really hard to you know, lean them up and tilt them down and get them to snap in. And we got them to snap in over here and that's what this bar is for right here. We'll get this bar behind here and we can use it as a wedge or hammer. Yeah. And just like that, it snapped it in.